It's been a semester in Istanbul, Turkey at Koç University. It was actually very similar to DePaul. Um, it was a small, basically liberal arts institution. Um, it was uh, an English-speaking university, so all the classes were in English. Um, all the students spoke English. Um, Size-wise, it was pretty similar to DePaul. Um, and I was able to take um, pretty much all the same classes that I would have here. Um, I was a history major, and I got to take a lot of history classes, philosophy classes, um, and then also a Turkish language course. I had never left the country before, so just being abroad and actually uh, being on my own, sort of having to, to learn <laughs> independence, all those things very quickly uh, in a foreign environment, um, that was, it was challenging, but it was a lot of fun, um, and it was really, really uh, very impactful for me. Um, and then, of course, just meeting people from very different circumstances that I'm from um, was really neat and uh, really had some, some lasting uh, effects on me. Um, so I think that it hasn't necessarily shaped my plans or ch changed my plans at all, uh, but it definitely reaffirmed what I wanted to do before. Um, being able to, to travel was always something that was really important to me. Um, so I knew that whatever job I had after college was something that I needed to be able to, to travel and get out and see the world. Um, and so now my goal is to become a professor. Um, and I think that, that being abroad definitely um, had an impact on, on those future plans and made me realize that staying involved in academics is really what I, what I want to do. I think if you're even just slightly interested, or even if you're not, frankly, um, coming in to talk to the people at the Harvard Center um, is very important. Just so you know what resources are there, um, what your options are. We have tons of different programs on in like 45 different countries. Um, so there are a lot of options. And I hear from students every year, I hear from seniors, um, who say, well, I wish I would have looked into study abroad, and it's too late for them. Um, you definitely, the last thing you want when you're walking across the stage of graduation is to have any regrets. Um, and if you, you know, are wanting to study abroad and you don't look into it for whatever reason, um, you will regret it, and you definitely don't want that. Uh, extended studies is nice because, um, first of all, students can go with a cohort of other DePaul students, um, so it's more comfortable, I think, for a lot of them, especially if it's their first time going abroad. You know, it's much easier to, to know what your plan's going to be. You're going to have a faculty member there, friends that you can go with, um, so that's nice. Um, and those are really cool programs that go to a variety of different places um, that some study abroad students, semester one study abroad students, don't get to go to. Um, so that's definitely great. And come in and talk to people at the Hubbard Center if you're interested. Um, talk to anybody that you can. Um, everybody knows someone at DePaul who studied abroad. Um, so definitely, you know, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your professors, all of your academic advisors, um, financial aid office, the Hubbard Center. Everybody um, is definitely willing to help students um, and send them abroad. We want to send as many students abroad as we possibly can.